today to recognize our pastors. Uh, so I hope you guys have time to uh, you know, take out your pastors or just say some nice words to your pastors and definitely what our, prayer, our pastors need are prayers. Uh, just as they pray for us, uh, they also need prayers to, to be God's word. So uh, I can say that we are, uh, we've had the pleasure to uh, be friends with our pastors and we love working alongside with them. Uh, so it's been an honor serving along with them. So uh, I want to say that we appreciate all of our pastors, Super Chief Dads, uh, Philip. So it's been a great and we're honored to have you guys serving in our church. Um, before I start off, I would like to welcome some guests to our church this Sunday service. Uh, so if I... Uh... Today is a very special service, so this is what Jane and myself I get to relax. And our elders, our planning committee, all the ministry departments have the opportunity to, to serve this morning. And so we're so grateful for that and we look forward to a wonderful service. He likes to wear, I don't know, sweats, <laughs> uh, t-shirt. What does he like to do during his pastime as a hobby? He likes hunting, uh, <laughs> eating. Get a place to go biking with his son. Biking as well. What about phrases? What phrase do you see people do?
to do the youth ministry, well, all I heard was O and R, so that's that's all you guys are obedient and collective. So that's all you guys are. Um, we do have three gifts for you guys. So for the first one, you guys just come up here. And then our second gift is this wonderful song. And our third gift is, after the church, please set up the tables and chairs. Thank you. <laughs>
But it's great to uh, see everyone. Uh, we have a full house. So I think we might have to do past appreciation like every month. You know? Wow. But um, this morning the reading uh, is from 1 Thessalonians 5, 12, 13. Do you have your Bibles uh, read along? Now we ask you, brothers, to respect those who work hard among you, who are over you in the Lord, and who admonishes you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. Uh, let us pray. Good morning, Brother we are truly grateful and we are humbled by Mitsuke Lujo Lamina, our son Pain, and even our daughter Plumeria as well. We do not ask for much, especially physical things this year, ever since our transition here. You have provided so much to us. Money, finances, we don't ask for any of that, but we know because we may lose about you, we may bow to you, so you do out of this in faith. And so, we are truly grateful and we are humbled for your hospitality and it's a change. And so we are grateful to be here and to be serving in the church here and to be serving our young people as well. And so may God bless our young people. May God use me and Nasibu to continue to be able to support in that city, to see our young people to walk faithfully and one day to serve within our congregation alongside with myself and with many of you in the church as well. And so from the bottom of my heart along with Nasibu, we just want to express our gratitude and to say that we are truly thankful for everything that has taken place today. Along with the gifts and even the meal that we will get to share together, we are truly thankful for everything. And so may God continue to bless the church and may God continue to give strength to us as the leaders as well to continue to be able to serve wholeheartedly and to meet the needs of each and every single one of you. And so thank you once more. Good morning, and thank you so much for this wonderful day. Uh, we are very blessed, Sifu and our family are very blessed to have such a wonderful, loving, and encouraging congregation. Um, we especially want to thank you for all the friendship and the kindness, and most important of all, thank you so much for the prayers. Thank you to um, all of Yen and Jay who have been so loving and kind and encouraging to Nisifu and I too as we joined Yen and Jay. That you have always prayed for us and family um, give us food when you see us out there we've been so blessed this year a couple of times that we've been out to eat um, we see some of you at the restaurants and then when we're done with our meal we're about ready to go and pay and they're like oh you guys don't have to worry the couple over there already paid for your meal so we've been very blessed to have so many of you bless us in return 
My speech is going to be a little bit longer, but I try not to take too much time. Richard Bong said he's going to use about one hour for <laughs> The central narrative of the Bible, the storyline, is that God sent his son Jesus to redeem sinful people, to restore them to his original purpose for humankind, an intimate relationship with God and also representing God in our stewardship of all that he has blessed us with. Pastor Dwight Smith said, our Christian lives serve as the evidence that the gospel has the power to heal the sin befallen upon humanity. We've heard the childhood song tell us, Jesus is the answer for the world. Day. And so the church exists to serve this mission, to bringing this gospel message of Christ to others, while also being like Christ in all that we say and do as we await the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so the purpose of shepherding as pastors and elders is to move the body of Christ, the church, towards faithfulness in gospel life, but then also gospel ministry. So I'm truly grateful for the humble support of our assistant pastor, uh, our elders, our leaders, and members of our church who have encouraged Nisitu and I to be faithful towards gospel life and ministry here in Leola, Pennsylvania. For the Institute and I, we are still growing in our calling to serve Christ and the church. We often make mistakes and strive to learn from them. We often fall short of expectations and must rely on God's grace and mercy to overcome our personal inadequacies. God has given my family faithful elders, leaders, members who have loved us despite all of our shortcomings, given us room to grow and improve as the years go by. We are who we are because of each and every one of you and your contribution to our lives. And so we want to thank the church for continually praying for us, encouraging us with your kind words, providing food and monetary gifts to us regularly, forgiving us when we make mistakes or oftentimes are forgetful. We often cannot connect with all of the family members or individuals of our church. Trustees and church members who help fix our parsonage or the cars that we drive day to day. We also thank our whole congregation for putting together this pastor appreciation service, the planning committee, the governing board, Niche, Tiche, youth, single adults, the children department, all of you for singing, doing the poem, uh, for those of you the planning committee members who put together the video, all the members who helped cook for today's 
Camille, all of the members who have also come up to us, shaken our hands, given us hugs, given us gifts to just express your love and your support, your appreciation. I also want to thank Gesud Johan, who is a faithful brother in the Lord, who continues to encourage me in my ministry to be a wise man, to give fresh ideas to our ministry. He is also a man who has a servant heart. When asked to help Becca Tiche, he humbly does so. And he is such a professional, he does everything so well. We thank him for his ministry heart and his brother. I want to thank my elders, who are my colleagues in ministry, who have supported me and encouraged me and built me up in the faith, who continue to serve alongside of me. These are bright men who love the Lord, who have given their lives sacrificially to lead this church the best they can, knowing their limitations, their own shortcomings. They have faithfully answered the and I cannot thank them enough. I want to thank my wife, who has been such an amazing wife, who continues to only further my appreciation for her through her service, her dedication to, to me, supporting me, but then also the entire family. She does a whole lot more uh, for me than I do for her. And I am um, indebted to her in this lifetime. I want to thank my children, my parents, all of our siblings who have helped us humbly and tirelessly. I also want to thank Gesuba Cheng and his family for their support and encouragement. I thank him because he has been a great brother for me over these past couple of months and has also helped lifted a heavy burden of carrying this ministry to this church. So he is a man after God's heart. We do devotions every morning when we get in the office. And I enjoy and delight in our conversations, how we are to build one another, but then also share our concerns as well as our strategy for the ministry of this church. I'm sure after today, he will tell you that our pastor appreciation is better than Denver Homeland's church. <laughs> we'll also say that the Eagles are better than the Broncos, Sixers better than the Nuggets. But most importantly, that our congregation has loved deeply and that we both as pastors here are truly blessed. Mullen Lions Church here in Leola is one of a kind. We can't thank you enough for all that you do for us and giving us thanks and appreciation for what little we do for you. And so we thank you and we appreciate each and every one of you. You are our family members, you are our cherished ones. And whenever we go out of state and we don't see you anymore, we miss you. And we realize how lucky or how blessed we truly are. How would you have a big job on your own sea? It's a good thing to think you have a job on your own. They call all you have to talk about the job, but you're not on the loose. You can talk to you long of food, long of a good job on your own. So you have what they want to do, do ya do you are. Ya chi tao shu da yi. Tao shu yi chi ya ba hu nei ni le. Tao shu yi chi ya ba hai dia. Mo dai me to hao wu hao na. Hao chi lo mo ba jia nei. Hao nei xia yi zi. Yu zhen nian hong ge ye. Zhen nian hong. Ta ge ba le zhang chun. Chi hai lu lang de lu na li chi. Ni zha ki zhen chi. เดี๋ยวเนี่ยรู้ได้ไหมใช่ไหมเดี๋ยวนี้ที่เนี่ยใช่ไหมเนี่ยสุดคือวันนี้เนี่ยตัวเดียวเราเป็นสิ่งอย
我啊做工作唔好，我烦，老我爱去嗰啲地路，要做好备份证啊，要负责备份证书，那些只要不要做，我那差不多。然后那一八个固定的师傅，让差不多做读书，我到老人家操劳了，我希望我师傅加备份证。你啊，原来只有两段的差不多，现在是分成，也分成，你只要给到他们差不多，大多做错多的，而他可能他外出放工忙多呢，因为直到一夜一起又搞到你只要给到，你只要给八二天差不多外出，对不对呢？就还叫个，但是他妈多着个，今天早上。就还叫我今年做，也是不不不不到时，还做好做做第八十一点，做错都好分清啊，这些的路，因老我错误在路上，得靠佛那些佛那些。And lastly, I want to thank all of those young people who continue to pray for us, who continue to wrestle through your faith. But then also look to us as pastors to help teach you, guide you, and lead you. We're not perfect by any means. Don't put us on a pedestal. We're still learning, just like you guys. And when you come up on stage here and you fill up this stage, it makes us so proud to see the future generation. That will come and lead this church going forward into the future. We are not only proud of you, but we look to great expectation as to what God will do in and through your lives, and how you will lead so much better as you come up and take the reins of leadership here in this church. And so we thank each and every one of you, young people, and all of our children. Who continue to be a strong part of our church, and so may the Lord bless you. May the Lord continue to ignite our hearts to have the passion to serve together. May we build one another up in Christ. And I look forward to many great things that the Lord will do in and through us as the body of Christ as the years continue to go by. May the Lord bless you and our time here together. Thank you also for Gong for preparing the message today. We trust that the、uh, altar call is going to go well right after the message. <laughs> <laughs>